everyone um, at the museum and the community this is just a an amazing moment and we're so glad that you took time out from your own lives to be here with us for this great moment um, I'd like everyone to do a round of applause for the wonderful step scrubbers and the yeah. <laughs> and also the step dancers uh, from the in case you're wondering, they're from the Leadership School for Young Women STEP team, and we're very grateful to all of those performers for this morning's uh, rousing start to the chain of events. Um, I'd like to introduce some of our trustees and distinguished uh, visitors, starting with Fred Koontz, who is chair of the BMA Board of Trustees. Yeah. Styles Colwell, immediate past chair, and the guy who gets a lot done. <laughs> and if there are any other trustees here that I'm missing, I'm I, I'm acknowledging you too. Um, and of course, Steve Zicker. Yay! Yay! <laughs> From Zicker Steed Architects, whose creativity um, and dedication to our John Russell Pope building have resulted in such great results. When you walk inside, you will be stunned at how beautiful it looks. Um, I'd like to introduce ele and acknowledge elected officials, Mary Pat Clark. Woo! She's been waiting for a long time to come through that door. <laughs> 32 years! Woo! <laughs> and also we have with us Casey Brent, who's representing Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake. The mayor is in New Orleans. It's good, doing her job. And um, uh, I think I'd like to mention um, as well um, that we have proclamation readings. So I'll ask uh, Casey to read one for the mayor. Good morning, everybody. Woo! Um, so I'm going to spare you the lengthy reading. You can see it from here, it's pretty lengthy. Uh, but on behalf of Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake, she would like to designate November 2014 as Baltimore Museum of Art Month in celebration of their 100th anniversary. Therefore, she, Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake of the city of Baltimore, does hereby proclaim November 2014 as Baltimore Museum of Art Month in Baltimore and does urge all citizens to join in this celebration. Thank you. Woo! And I am going to read uh, Senator Murkowski's entire um, <laughs> proclamation. Um, um, because it, it sums it all up very, very nicely. In recognition of 100 years of having the courage to support creativity, one artist at a time. Yes. <laughs> now, uh, I'd also like to thank um, our BMA 100 sponsors who've done so much to get the word out about what we're doing. WBAL TV 11. WYPR Radio 88.1, very exciting. So this is a great day for Baltimore. Uh, we are so excited uh, to reopen the Merrick Historic Entrance, to debut the beautifully renovated Zamaski East Entrance, and to share with you the gorgeously renovated American Wing. We are now going to uh, end the ceremony with an actual ribbon cutting. I'm going to ask Fred to wield the scissors and we'll stand on either side of you. The doors will open and now we'll be open here. This is just so exciting. A dual Yes. 